Millions of us from coast to coast will be looking to the heavens tomorrow to watch the solar eclipse. Somewhere up there, about 13 billion miles away, two NASA spacecraft are racing through the solar system. Forty years ago today, NASA launched the Voyager 2 on a tour of the stars. Weeks later, the Voyager 1 followed. Mounted to each of them was a gold record that contains the best of the world's music, many of its languages, and the sounds of Earth's nature. The intended audience? Aliens who might come across the Voyagers. Joe Fryer has our Sunday closer. Looking deep into the sky, it's natural to wonder, is anyone really out there? And if so, what on earth would we tell them? Hello from the children of planet Earth. Turns out, Bonjour tout le monde. Namaste. Konnichiwa. Someone already thought of that. We have ignition. 40 years ago when NASA launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 into the solar system, each one carried a golden record. You could call it a planetary soundtrack, featuring music made by nature and harmonies created by man. Classics ranging from Beethoven to Chuck Berry. There are also greetings in 55 languages. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Along with hundreds of images encoded in the grooves of each phonograph. Snapshots of Earth, should any extraterrestrials ever happen upon one of the spacecraft. I like to think that if the Voyager record is all that's left of us in a billion years, um, it's a very beautiful representation of who we were. David Peskovitz, right Tim now. Daly, and Lawrence Azarad have bonded but over their astronomical love of David. the Voyager record. A love so deep, they're reproducing the Golden Album for Earthlings. Blue skies, a sunset, a string concerto, a human laughter, a baby's cry. And it's a lovely reminder of what it means to be a human. And as our world gets faster and faster, it's important to remember that. After raising $1.3 million on Kickstarter, seven times their original goal, they're now producing a box set with records that play all those sounds and a book that showcases the images. And to think that people will be sitting down with this thing, you know, in their living rooms right around the time of the 40th anniversary is just super gratifying to me. They owe it all to those who created the original record, including famed scientist Carl Sagan and his widow, Andrew Yan. One of the sounds on the album is her heartbeat as she was falling in love with Sagan. I just have this image of someone someday playing, you know, finding this derelict spacecraft, going through the messages and uh, feeling, feeling what it like, felt like to love so deeply and to be so alive. They liken the record to a message in a bottle hurled into the cosmic ocean. If aliens ever do see these records or play these records, will you ever know? We may not know, or we may get a message billions of years from now uh, that they got the tape. While we may never know the record's fate, it's fun to dream. After all, if space has taught us anything, it's that our imagination can reach so much farther than our sight. For Sunday Today, Joe Fryer, Planet Earth. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.